people. So I have, um, I'm using my new uh, thing that I received for Christmas. <laughs> um, the DJI, DJI Osmo Mobile 2. I received it for Christmas from my mother. And so I wanted to use it because I haven't used it yet to see how the stabilization works and how good everything looks. So right now we are going to the hospital. Um, I'm not having the baby yet, um, but we're going because we're 30 minutes early. So instead of paying for parking, we parked in a free, um, <laughs> in a free parking lot and now we're just walking to like go chill and have a snack before we have our lunch date and then when it comes time well I don't know maybe we'll just stay parked over there so I don't have to even get the validation ticket <laughs> I don't know but but um yeah so we I just wanted to update I haven't updated you guys since I was 25 weeks I think so um i am currently i'm currently 35 uh so i'm getting close so excited um i'll show you guys my belly if i can so yeah this is the belly oops i'm still moving you want to cross right here so i think oh. it's in there right yeah how are you gonna make that man wait and then <laughs> choose, choose to cross somewhere else? But yeah, so um, basically, I just wanted to make a video finally using my new toy. <laughs> um, funny story the reason why I even saw this because my brother actually recommended it, and then we went to Knott's Berry Farm for the holidays and there was a dude using one of these <laughs> and my mom was like stumped on what to get me for Christmas. So I told her, I was like, well, that dude has a stabilizer. And I was like, and it looks pretty cool. I said, so you should just get me one of those. And well, here it is. So, um, no, nope, that's not it. <laughs> so yeah, we're just here. So I will finish recording. Later. Well, what is up ladies and gents? So. The last time I was recording um, was at the hospital because we were there for a checkup. It wasn't anything serious, obviously. Um, Mr. is still in the belly. <laughs> um, but then again, I just hit 37 weeks. Or, just kidding. 36 weeks yesterday. Um, I'm looking rough right now. I don't care um because i'm super pregnant so i don't care if i look rough or not honestly like i will look i will start making videos again and looking good when this baby <coughs> but um yeah so this is the belly of course you know still cooking in there um we are taking a walk along the or around our neighborhood because um we just feel like it'll be, um, it'll help with this laboring process. Um, because all the other times before, I have not started the process earlier. So it was kind of like as soon as I got to like 37, almost 38, then I started bouncing on the ball and doing all the other stuff. Um, but with my youngest, or sorry, youngest, was my oldest, um, I had him a week earlier than his due date. And then with my youngest, well, now my middle child, I had him um, actually three days before his due date. I didn't realize that. I always thought I had him early, but then um, I got induced with him and then when I realized that the doctor induced me three days before my due date, then I kind of thought about it and I was like, what was the point? <laughs> what was the point of inducing me if he was due anyways in three days? 
so I don't know but I'm filming once again on my DJI um, Osmo mobile 2 so I'm filming on my phone I don't all right <laughs> but I don't understand why it is moving the way it is right now <laughs> but remember this is my second time using this and um, I'm but this time I have more time to use it see last time I didn't have more time because we had only walked from the car to the hospital and that was a very short walk um, so this time we're walking our neighborhood like I said to try and get something happening because Let's get a little jog going. I'm not jogging because um, I was going to update you guys with the whole hospital information. So basically what happened was we got to the hospital, we went in there and he was like, oh, um, we're doing a cervix check next week and your strep B test. And I'm like, are you kidding me? <laughs> and the thing is, I went in ready for a um, a check on my cervix and we didn't get one. So I was kind of bummed out that I didn't get to find out anything because I was so sure that I was definitely dilated to something because um, I tried checking myself and I read how to check yourself and everything, but obviously I was wrong because when I checked, I swore I was at least two centimeters, but um, that didn't end up being true because we went to the doctor yesterday um, which was the day I turned 36 weeks exactly. And, uh, he checked me and told me that my cervix is still completely closed. And, uh, I was a little bummed. I know that cervix, your cervix can change within like hours of each other. Like you could be completely closed and, uh, zero dilation. And then within two hours, you could be fully going you know and be like five centimeters and stuff so um i think that's good <laughs> to know um obviously this is my third baby so i should know but i swear every time i get pregnant i completely forget <laughs> how things work so this time around i decided to start out everything early a week early so that way maybe um i will be able to just get everything jump started and then by the time I go into labor everything will be a breeze also a lot of people are like why in the world I thought because this whole time I've been saying that I was going to um let the baby marinate for as long as he wanted and even if I had him on my due date it was fine but then I found out that my school my first day of school no, I can't. No, I don't want to swing. Uh, my first day of school is February 4th. My due date is February 5th. And my doctor already confirmed with me yesterday that he likes to take things slow. And that he doesn't like to rush anything. So he was like, so you can do whatever, but uh, if, he, if he doesn't come on your due date or the day after your due date, then we will start talking induction. And I'm like, dang, he's one of those people. So because I have to wait, it sucks. Cause he's, you know, that's, I don't know. I guess that's just how it is. So I'm just going to do what I can on my own and see what happens. Um, I really need to go to school <laughs> and, uh, I'm he's getting full in there so I'm just ready for things to progress so yeah we're walking to see what we can get done and then um, and then we will be walking more often don't know how many times but more often um, I have a ball bouncing ball I've heard Drinking red red uh, red raspberry leaf tea helps with to soften your cervix, so I need to buy some of that, I guess. And then also putting evening primrose oil, yeah, 
evening primrose oil on your cervix is supposed to help soften it which i did do that last pregnancy don't know if it helped anything have no idea what it did but i don't know i you i did some of it i don't know <laughs> so i'm just updating you guys because i didn't update you guys last time i literally just kind of filmed us going to the like once we got into the hospital i shut it off and that was it <laughs> i said that i would update if i was dilated or not and then i never did so no not dilated not anything so but like i said 36 weeks yesterday i'll be 37 next week so we're just trying to get things rolling so that way it'll just be a breeze when it happens um so i will probably update you guys later i don't know um that's about it i think so we're gonna finish this walk and then we will uh i will update you in a couple days all right thanks for watching and uh see you guys later